Hey there, uh, YouTube and Shack News. I just wanted to do a quick video on the Shack News uh, modded Minecraft server and uh, just show some of the new stuff on the server and um, just, I, I guess, kind of give a like short tour almost. Um, yeah, I mean, the server has changed quite a bit over the past probably two months just with, uh, you know, adding mods and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I thought it would be fun to do a quick little video. So we are here over at spawn. So this is right here on this lapis block is where you actually spawn in and have kind of, I guess, the welcome board here. Uh, you know, when the world was started in 629.24 rules and um, we have one of the mods here, the waystone block, which this kind of gives you a few, um, these are craftable by the way, um, gives you kind of a few places you can basically teleport to. Um, as well as these waystones can be found just out in the wild. Like they do generally, uh, like naturally generate. So there's a chance you can just be wandering somewhere. Like um, I think they can be just out in the wilderness and also have a chance to spawn in villages. But um, yeah, I thought I would just kind of, um, especially just focus on like the mods that we've uh, that we have on the server and just kind of uh, give a little kind of run over of the different mods and just kind of things around spawn and um, probably at my base because I've utilized a lot of the mods at my base uh, chicken cooker um, and we have the drawers here which uh, these basically this is a quad drawer so it stores it can store four items and as you can see, it can store a lot per, you know, slot on the drawer. So, you know, we have 10,000 chickens in here. So, you know, if you if you need food, there's plenty. Um, you know, portal, that's typical. And we have farms dotted around here. And I didn't mean to fly in here. Yeah, pigs and cows. sure we have double double fence gates there and i think creeping jesus was building that i, I i'm I, i'm not entirely sure i think he was building that i know he did a lot of stuff around spawn i'm not sure if that was his build or someone else's we have uh oozing uh slime um farm here that Traws built I am not going to attempt to use it because I'll probably break it. But yeah, there's a video instructions on how to uh, actually uh, utilize this thing. But uh, yeah, if you need slime balls, this is where you get them. And I'll start build a little tutorial area here. And this is really just for the three main uh, storage mods. We have expanded storage, which these are just kind of different tiers of chests so you can get you know the iron gold uh, diamond obsidian which is actually actually no obsidian is a little bit bigger i think i'd have to count it out now i think it's the same size as diamond but it's blast proof and then netherite is your biggest option um and these are just you know the same work the same as regular chests they just have uh, higher capacity and Tom's simple storage um, this is the mod that is basically allows you to build a storage system and kind of rather than having to go through all kinds of different chests and try to find your your things it basically lets you link all your storage together so there is a few blocks that are kind of important uh, to work with this mod. And I just realized I have my phone not muted. Um, oh, let me mute my phone just so I don't hear notifications and stuff. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so it starts out kind of the main block for this mod is the inventory connector. So... Basically, this is kind of the, well, it's the first thing you're going to need to craft to build out a storage system. 
and then basically the supporting blocks like the the inventory cables and the cable connectors which is basically going to link so the cable connector this basically you you know connect it to any storage block and then you run cables to this and so, I mean, as you can see, as I mouse over this, it shows that, hey, it's connected to three inventories and it tells you how many slots are free out of the total. And I mean, it has a little preview of how many items it's seeing. I mean, it's, um, of course, it only gives you two rows, but, and you can't really, other than like, as far as interacting with this block, I mean, you can, um, feed like a hopper into it and other things like that to feed into the storage system. But um, it has blocks that do that as well, which is like this one here, the, the inventory hopper, which this basically any storage that's like connected to this, it just acts like a hopper and sucks it into the system. And then you have the terminals. So there's two types. There's the regular storage terminal, which just kind of shows you what's in the system. And then there's the crafting terminal, which this one adds a crafting grid to the storage terminal. So basically you can use this to directly, and it also works, I mean, like, cause you can grab stuff out of there, but you can also just type, oh, I want planks and click from here and it will show you the recipe and you can click move items and it will and like it only moves one, but you can just keep clicking that and it will actually pull it from your inventory, basically. Um, and as you can see, that went down as we crafted planks. And the nice thing with this, I mean, if you're, if you're into, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go to one of the others, like my storage, because um, this doesn't really have enough items in there to do any like complex crafting. Um, but basically, I mean, this is just a very quick and dirty example with, um, you know, a few different chests and the last one is extended drawers, which this one, so you have basically, well, actually four different types of drawers that you can actually, I think there's five, but like the, actually I could check extended yeah, so there is basically, there is the shadow drawer, compacting drawer, and then three different types of standard drawers. The drawer connector basically just lets you connect like a, a series of drawer blocks together. If like, if like say if you build three here and you want like more drawers over here, but you want it connected to the same thing, you can add like connector blocks in between to kind of make it part of the same system. Um, and as you can see, I wrote books on, um, kind of a short description on all of these mods. Some of it I took from, you know, the mods, um, description page. Um, this one though, the Tom simple storage, there's really not a ton of information on it. I mean, there's videos like YouTube videos and things like that, but there is not a, a, a wiki for this, unfortunately. So it's like, it really felt like early Minecraft, like, like beta alpha Minecraft, where you're just like trying shit to like figure out how it works. And I mean, in one sense, I like that just cause I had to spend time trying to figure it out, but it was also like the simple things just like, okay, connect chests. That's easy. But when you're trying to do anything advanced, it definitely can get a little bit confusing. And um, this mod, so as I mentioned, you have the different drawers. Each one can store, well, this one stores one item. This can store two or four. Um, so it can only store a single item, but it can store like, you know, 16,384 items. And then that's, you know, divided by either two or by four, depending upon um, what type of drawer it is. And each one does have uh, capacity upgrades. So you can, you know, put an upgrade in it, you know, to increase the capacity by two, four, eight, or 16. And that's a weird, uh, I think that's the, um, must have gotten a weird glare from like the shader. <laughs> 
So the drawer access point, um, this is basically, if you build a ton of drawers, if you don't like, so say I'm just going to, actually I can grab it from my own, I have a wireless inventory things here. So like I can grab stuff from my own inventory from far away. <laughs> so like, okay, so if you have a ton of dirt blocks and you just want to put them into your drawers, I mean, you can click on, well, right click the actual drawer and it will put one stack into there. Um, the other nice thing with the access point block, it basically, it will look through your entire series of drawers and it will like anything in your inventory that can fit into a drawer. Like I can like double click on here and it just inputted all the dirt I had in my inventory, like directly into there. So, I mean, the access point is kind of the block that you would want to interface with usually. Um, and especially for interfacing with other mods. So like you can see, I have, the um, inventory cable connector. So, I mean, that's the block that I connected back to here. And let me actually grab, yeah, the inventory configurator. So this is one of the um, items from the Tom simple storage. So this lets you kind of configure um, some of the blocks. So you can see here this one is set with the highest priority. So basically like when you insert things into the storage terminal, it will attempt to put the item in this storage first. If it can't fit in here, then it will go to the next highest priority, which is this one here. Yeah, this one is set to high. So yeah, this one's set to high, but you can see we have an item filter. And I'm going to take that out just so you can see what's in it. So this one is set to only allow oak logs. So basically, like when you insert things into the inventory, it's only going to accept oak, log oak logs into this chest. And then this one here, yeah, this is set to the lowest priority. So this will be kind of the last, um, like it will try every other chest and then it will go to this one last. So this basically would be anything miscellaneous. And I mean, that's basically how, at a quick glance, how, you know, the storage mods work. And it's gonna sleep through the night. And you know, I added one here and you can see here, this one shows it has 15 inventories. So it's like a much larger system. You can see like everything right here in the, in the uh, crafting terminal. And here is also one of the other mods. Um, this is cooking for blockheads. So, you know, you got kitchen cabinets and a sink, which actually has infinite water. So, I mean, you can click on this with a water bu or with a bucket and it will, you know, fill up uh, your water buckets. And I mean, we'll go behind the scenes here. This has, you know, same setup. You can see all the inventory connectors connected to all these chests and another setup a little bit bigger with uh, more drawers. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is... Um, the lock thing here to unlock and lock drawers and um, the configurator, which you saw me use at the, the other area. And the other item that we have at spawn is stuff from Energize Power. So this is like kind of a technology mod. Um, these are powered furnaces. So, I mean, they work just like a regular furnace, except they um, are powered, so you don't need fuel. And as you can see on the sign, they are solar powered, which you can see there is an array of nine solar panels on, uh, you know, out here and they're connected with these, uh, copper cables and they run, you know, through the ground and down into the spawn shelter area. And you can see when you mouse over these, it shows, okay, they, they have 7,500 um, energy 
and um, it's set up pretty much identically. I mean, I could, let's see, let's throw in, I'm going to go back to my inventory so I don't chew through, um, let's throw in a bunch of cobblestone and make some regular stone. So you just add in some stone here and you can see it's sucking that down and you can see both of these are lit now. And you can see if I mouse over here, it tells you like, okay, that recipe only takes about uh, 200 something energy to, to complete. And you can see here, these are upgrades. So we have a tier one speed, uh, tier one efficiency and tier one capa energy capacity upgrade. And you can see each one like this increases the speed by one and a half. Um, it increases the energy consumed though. So, I mean, that's each of these, you know, change some different, um, so, I mean, I, I, if you go up, let's see, we can actually energize power. So yeah, we have tier one, tier two bumps it up to three and a half percent. I mean, three and a half times the production. Then we have five times and you can see as you go up the. Like as you go up to like the tier three and tier four, you know, you're up to five times um, speed, seven and a half, and then 10 times normal speed. But the energy consumption gets kind of ridiculous, honestly, um, which it should. I mean, you're you're increasing the speed of these furnaces to 10 times their normal speed. So it's going to use a lot of power. Um, but like there's a bunch of different blocks in here. Um, there is... The solar panels, which we saw here earlier, and I mean, you could see like this one produces 10 energy, 50, um, 50, 500, 5,000, 50,000, 500,000. So, you know, they scale up, you know, to pretty, you know, crazy as well as uh, batteries like these batteries, like you can store 2 million energy in the battery. So... You know, if you're building a ton of machines, you're going to want like batteries to store energy. So, you know, so you don't run out. But that's at least like a little preview of spawn. And these things are going to keep running here. Um, okay. Yeah, there's stuff still in the hoppers. And we will head over to my base. And so, yeah, my uh, waystone just kind of dumps you out right kind of at the basement area, which has the elevator up top, as well as I have the villager trading center here, which, you know, anyone is free to come over here, grab books, uh, trade. Well, I have all my farms, so all my farms feed into this little storage system here, which I have the terminal on the wall, so you can access um, any of the resources here. And I added a few books that I were, you know, extra books. And yeah, there's a decent, there's a rather obscene amount of iron um, and rockets and some other stuff. So, you know, pumpkins and melons, those are great for getting emeralds. You know, I have six uh, farmers here. They all trade uh, pumpkin and melons. And as far as... So this is my house and you can see I have, you know, a decent setup here with some of the mods. Uh, we already mentioned the cooking for blockheads. So I, I decked out the kitchen a little bit more just to make it look like an actual kitchen. So, you know, it's got a fridge and actual working oven, the sink, which I mentioned before. And uh, the nice thing with the sink, I added an upgrade so it uses energy. Um, so it, it runs off electricity, basically. I don't need to supply it with coal or other fuels. And this is just you know, a fruit basket with some items in it. And the uh, cutting board is actually a crafting table, which I thought was kind of funny. And I have, you know, my uh storage system here and you can you can build multiple terminal mul multiple terminals going to like the same system so i have one up here i have another one down here which connects to like the same system and like my storage system i have a large setup of drawers here so this is kind of like my bulk storage 
for all of the items where I just have a lot of the same item. Um, and I mean, I have more spaces in here, so I could probably go through like these chests and look for stuff that I have a ton of items. So I mean, these eight chests are the rest of my storage. Um, and that's connected. Well, actually we can go behind the scenes here. So as I mentioned, this is kind of like your main block. And you might say, hey, you don't have any blocks connected to it um, or any cables connected to it. These here, uh, if you notice the tooltip on the top of the screen, it says it's a framed inventory cable. So there is a block, um, which you can see under um, the Tom's um, framed inventory cable. Basically, this can be painted. It can be disguised as any other block. So, you know, you can put those in and then grab uh, the paint kit and basically click on, like in my case, I cl clicked on the deep slate brick and then painted those over so they kind of get hidden. And you can see this one here is like connected to those um, inventory cable, the framed cables. And then it kind of loops around to the backside of the drawers and then also I think the other one, yeah, it goes somewhere. Okay, yeah, the other one is going, I mean, I have cables running all, all like, all over my base. It's kind of a little crazy. Um, yeah, so the other one is, like, running through there and then up to here and behind here. And I'm doing the same setup, so the, um, actually, I could have... Like this one is set as my highest priority for the for my items, and then these I think okay these are all set at they don't they don't have a priority set which by default just means they're normal priority. And this one here is also set to high. Um, this is a, just a filing cabinet, which I think. I, I forgot how I set this up. I think basically you just click. I think you, I think I just added one book to it, and then basically all your books, like any book in the game, will just get added to the filing cabinet. And I think it basically will just store like similar items. Basically, is what it is. Basically, what it's doing. <laughs> and we got a lava farm over here, which is connected to some drains. Actually, I didn't really go over there. And that's part of the Energize Power mod, which you can see there's these little pipes here, which kind of lead underneath and through the wall. And Energize Power, as I mentioned, was kind of the technology mod. So everything over here is basically that is part of that mod. And I mentioned before the batteries. So I have two batteries here, which are kind of feeding from Actually, we can go outside. These six tier four panels, so you can see they're 100K um, energy storage each. And that, I don't know if you can see it from here. Yeah, it feeds down to that block. It's a transformer block um, on the side of the wall. And that goes you know, down to my basement. And the transformers, they're designed to interface between two different tiers of cables. Um, but I, I mainly just used them so I didn't have holes in the wall. <laughs> for actually, for quite a while, for probably the first like two months, I just had holes in the wall. And then eventually I was like, you know what? I can patch those up just so, you know, I don't have, you know, a drafty house basically. And down here I have um, heat generators, which you can see the heat generators. Um, they need to be surrounded by lava. Um, and basically those, basically, as long as they're surrounded by a heat source, um, they'll generate energy, which it feeds into the bottom of um, these battery blocks. Um, yeah, that's basically, so, you know, I have the solar panels feed through there, and then the heat um, heat generators feed into the, like both of those feed into the bottom of the batteries. 
So basically everything feeds all my uh, energy producing blocks feed into the bottom of the batteries. And then the top side of the battery um, feeds outward into all the blocks, basically anything that consumes power. So these are all blocks that are kind of, they don't really do anything outside of, like this one is a metal press, which is used to make the wires, rods, and gears. So that's why I have these items there. Energizer is used to make energized items. Um, this is used to produce items that, um, I guess I could show you, energized. Yeah, the redstone alloy ingots. So you can see here, you can create that in the alloy furnace or the induction smelter. Um, yeah, so this is a recipe of tin ingot, silicone, and redstone dust. So you need to combine those three items to create that. Compressor, uh, I believe that creates um, advanced, uh, yep, yeah, like these flat items. Um, and actually, I think you can make these also, yeah, like, so the compressor, you can kind of, like, you could automate those if you wanted, or you can craft um, stone hammers or any hammer to also make those, you know, so you don't need to make the machine to do that. But if, but if you don't want to keep making hammers, you can craft, you know, the machine to uh, generate those. And the assembling machine, this is for creating some of the complex items. Um, I'm trying to think of an example of one. Yeah, like the advanced circuit you need to combine these four items in the assembling machine to make the advanced circuit. Over here, we have two machines that kind of create uh, things. This one creates um, amethyst shards. So it does need, um, it needs kind of uh, input of amethyst shards to actually generate them, but it uses um, power and actually it's still running. I must have left that running. Um, so it, it takes a lot of power. You can see it, it needs 4.4 million energy to complete this recipe. So it takes a lot of energy to create those. Um, and I probably have a ton of them now. Oh yeah, I have 1,700. I think I had like 600 um, not too long ago. So I, I guess I've left that running for a few days. Um, and this one here is a stone solidifier. So you have pretty much all the major stones. I mean, there's definitely some of them that like, I should say naturally occurring stones. So, you know, black stone, cobble deep slate, cobblestone, deep slate, um, even obsidian. So it uses an input of water and lava and um, energy. So you can see here, I have a fluid tank with lava and another one in here with water. And I have, you know, pipe, you know, going under the floor here, which I mentioned before, which is feeding from these cauldrons. So these kind of suck the lava out and feed it into my uh, tank here, storage tank. So this stores 100 buckets of, la of lava. And this one's storing water from, or you can do actually like a, an infinite water source to feed this. Um, but I found out later that um, the sink item from from the cooking for blockheads is infinite water. So, I mean, this looks a little janky, but it just seemed like, you know, kind of the way to do it, honestly, rather than trying to build like um, a big pool of water to, to suck water out. Um, and other than that, I mean, these are plant grow growth chambers. So these are just growing um, all the flowers and, uh, you know, you have bone meal. And this is for a flower farm, which I'm still working on. Um, well, I should say ink farm. So it's going to have, you know, flowers and ink here. Um, so I am still working on that. Not done, but uh, it is, uh, it's coming along. And you can see I'm kind of partway done. I have um, these crafter items, which will actually craft the 
And the nice thing with these, they can do three different recipes at the same time. So these are doing the single item recipes. And you can see as I click through here, um, well, this one's only doing two. And this one is set up to, um, it'll be taking in, um, oh, I haven't done uh, sorters. So these items are sorters. So, you know, when you have conveyor belts, um, you can set up uh, exactly what items are going where. Yeah, this one will be for um, cactus, for green dye. And hiding down here, which, I mean, up, up, up top, I can show you, there is this con conveyor belt that leads all the way down to here. So this is hitting the switch item, which is, you can see there's a redstone block here. So when it's powered, it'll go out this side, which will feed directly into this powered furnace. When it's not powered, it will feed uh, out this side, go to the splitter, and then to these pulverizers. So the pulverizer basically will um, take raw ore and crush it, and gets it gets a much higher um, output, basically, compared to just mining with fortune. So like if I'm doing a ton of mining, I'm just going to mine it with silk touch and then just feed it into here and I'll get, you know, a ton more gold and diamonds or whatever else. Um, and then it feeds into, it kind of feeds um, out of the furnace and then um, it will feed back into the storage. And you can see there's this interface block and one of the inventory connectors. So this basically it takes uh, the input and then feeds it into um, the rest of my system. So it kind of it kind of loops it back into the system, basically. Well, I shouldn't say loops it back into the system because the input for this entire thing, like at the very top, is just a chest. It's not it's not feeding it directly out of my storage. Um, I could do that. It would be a little um, it would probably be a little complicated to do that. So I just I just have a chest here and a switch to, as I mentioned before, the um, the piston with the redstone block. So this basically just turns that on and off. Um, so if I if I want to use the pulverizer, I switch it to on. If, if I'm feeding an item to the furnaces that um, can't be pulverized, like sand or um, some other, like a stone that you uh, just want to, you know, you know, you, you want to take cobblestone and make a uh, just regular stone. Um, yeah, you'd have to turn it off. And I flicked that a few times. Let me just make sure I didn't break it. Yeah, because that could get uh, stuck. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, because if you flick the, um, yeah, and I have another terminal down here. But as I mentioned earlier, and you did see me use a few times, I have um, the wireless terminal, which um, this item, it's definitely a, a late game, end game item. Um, and we can, oops, we can go down this here, which is this, this is um, the elevator block, which this basically is completely vertical. It does have to be directly so if I hit um, shift, you know, to uh, to crouch, it will take you. So basically on the. Um, yeah, on the Y axis, um, it has to be on the same exact spot, so it will take you up or down on the Y axis. And I have over here a level four beacon. And so this terminal here, you can see it's in range of a level four beacon. So that means I can uh, basically access the system from anywhere um, with the wireless terminal. And it has, um, so yeah, there's multiple levels. If it's a level one beacon, it just means you can access it anywhere in the same dimension. If you, um, if you upgrade it to level four, you can access it anywhere on the server, basically. Um, so I can be on the end or I can be in the nether and still connect to my storage. It does have to be chunk loaded. So 
And we do have a mod for that, actually. Um, I'm trying to remember where I put my chunk loader. I think I hit it. Yes, I did. Yeah, so this is one of the, the chunk loader mod. So I loaded um, all these chunks right here. Um, so that's lo loading like all the farms that are around my base as well as my um, as well as basically this here. So I mean I can access all my storage wherever I'm at. Um, and I mean all my farms and everything, I mean pretty much the majority of them like have on off switches. So I've already actually disabled um, this one here, the, the sugarcane farm. And also my creeper farm, which is with the spawner mod. So this one here, you can create spawners. And you can see that is set to spawn creepers. And actually, I could turn it on for a second so you can see. Yep, there's creepers. They drop down below. Yep, you can hear them getting a... Uh, And all the gunpowder is already gone. Um, but yeah, this feeds my firework crafting setup here, a little firework factory. And this is just using the vanilla crafter. Um, I hadn't really messed with it too much, so I wanted to use the vanilla setup. But I set up all the conveyor belts here to basically... I wanted to split the items. Like, so I wanted, like, uh, just regular sugar cane. So it takes the input, it splits it a few times. It splits it once, so I get um, a supply of gunpowder and sugarcane going into my storage. And then it takes the remainder um, and splits it again, so it is going into your crafter. And then the crafter kind of spits it out here, and then it's split again. It goes into my personal storage and then down into the kind of community storage down um, down at kind of the ground level at the, um, the entrance to my base. But yeah, I guess that's kind of the, the quick tour. Um, I mean, I have a ton of farms in my base. But um, if I did a full tour of all the farms, this probably would have turned into maybe an hour video, and I didn't really want to do that long of a video. It definitely ran a little bit longer than I wanted, but I definitely wanted to cover like all the kind of major mods that we have and just kind of... And there's an, actually another one here, the trash can mod. Um, this one just takes, um, it basically imp like will delete whatever you feed into it. So be careful with that. But um, yeah, if you, if you have stuff and you can filter stuff into there, you can see it has a blacklist and whitelist option. So, I mean, you could set this up with a, with a whitelist, be like, okay, I want to, delete only two or three items and it would just automatically like delete those basically and you could feed something directly into it with like hoppers or whatever you know to feed directly into there um and there's other mods we have in the the pack but um yeah i'm not going to go through all of them um and the nice thing with um what do you call it the roughly enough items mod you can do your the at the at symbol and then the name of the mod to find whatever you're looking for um so like i mentioned before we have like um can't type the waystone mod so you can see like here here's all the different waystones um and if you click on waystone it'll show you okay there's your crafting recipe and like for example, like, oh, you need a warp stone, but you don't know how to craft that. You can just click directly on that item and then it will switch to the crafting recipe for the warp stone. And you can hit here, move item, and it adds it to your crafting grid and you can just grab that big like, boom. And the nice thing with the, 
the system with um, Tom's simple storage, you can just click on it here and then just dump it directly into your inventory and then be like, oh, okay, I need a waystone and it's boom. And then, hey, you're you're ready to create a, a waystone. So, you know, it, it's very simple to craft things with this, especially once you have everything connected. Like you don't have to rummage through a million chests to, uh, you know, craft things. It's just, everything's just at your fingertips, which is really nice but anyways this video has gone on a lot longer than i thought it would but uh thanks for watching and uh please uh, like and subscribe and uh you know if you have any questions about the mod pack um you know please feel free to leave them in the description and i'm sorry leave them in the comments and what i was going to say is i'm going to have a link to the mod pack in the description so you know Anyone is, of course, free to use this on their own servers, um, but this is the mod pack that we're using on the Shack News server, and um, it's been really fun building it. And, you know, if anyone out there has suggestions for things to add into our mod pack, um, definitely, you know, leave a comment and, you know, I'll look it over. And if it's something that I think would be a good addition, um, yeah, we'll definitely consider adding it into the mod pack. Um, right now, we are running on version 1.21.1, and more than likely we're going to stick on that version for quite a while because we will have to wait um, for kind of all of the mods to get upgraded to the 1.21.3 before we move to that. So unfortunately, if you suggest mods that are not compatible with one 21.1 um, we can't add it into the pack so yeah because I did have I, I had someone else at, ask or uh, say hey uh, you should add create and I'm like yeah create is a really neat mod but um, currently it's not compatible with uh, 1.21 uh, on fabric so we are using fabric we're not using forge so it also does need to be a fabric mod um, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. But um, yeah, I want to thank you again for watching and everyone have a great day. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, if, if this has been interesting, I'll maybe put out some more videos on um, our server, you know, just showing different things on the server and, uh, you know, different builds and things like that. So thanks again.